Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Jeez. It feels like I uh, have two little hands today. But yeah, we, we are back. Good morning. Welcome to another show, episode 88. Today we're talking about branding and whether we should be building a personal or a business brand. And uh, all I want to do is share with you what I've come to learn over the last uh, couple of years running my own business. Uh, also doing something that is very, very personal and uh, so important that uh, I thought I'd share that with you and just sort of my view and my opinions on it. Definitely not uh, that I have all the answers, but definitely looking forward to this to this uh, episode this morning. So good morning, everybody. Uh, nice to have you with us this morning. Good morning, Quivis. Nice to have you with us once more. Uh, Malcolm, good morning. Ian, good morning, Ian. Uh, Razan, good morning. Tinas, and we've got Denise. And Kvendra, welcome back. Uh, Neil Stradom. Neil, it's been a little while, I think, that I've seen you live. So thank you very much. Welcome. Uh, Carol, once again, welcome back. Uh, Louis Uester over on uh, LinkedIn. Good morning. And uh, Renee, good morning. And Casper, good morning. Uh, so that's just a quick hello to everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I'm looking forward to sharing some ideas and some thoughts with you. And I'll be keen, obviously, to hear uh, what you have to say about this as well. So on that note, please remember that uh, you should, you know, just uh, comment and uh, react to the video and share the video. If I can ask, please, today, can we share this video and can you like the video? Uh, and let me help, uh, just help us get it out there for people to know, you know, what it is that we do and, and what value they can get from this. Uh, so, so please help me get it out there. Uh, if you don't mind, I will really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, good morning, Floyd. Nice to see you here as well. And uh, also, Johan Marie. Good morning, Johan. Good morning. Welcome. Uh, nice to have you with us. Alrighty, so uh, just uh, one simple announcement this morning. Uh, my guest for next week, Tuesday, uh, so that is the 28th of July, is going to be Emily Blanche. Emily is the community uh, manager, basically, for XY Advisor, which is a, a social media network for financial professionals across the globe. So I'm uh, going to talk to her about what it means to have meaningful connection and meaningful belonging and how important that is and also how does it translate into what the financial advisor can do for their clients and with their clients to do sort of the same thing. So really excited to get into it. There's all loads of other stuff that we're going to be talking about. But really happy to have her on the show. Uh, Clayton Daniel was on the show the other day and uh, he's also part of, of that. So uh, yeah, so join us. This is going to be an exciting morning and an uh, exciting conversation that I'm going to have with, uh, with Emily. So don't miss that one. Diarize it for the 28th of July. I will probably send out an email so long for that uh, in this week. And then, uh, yeah, make sure it's in your diary. And then uh, this coming Friday, uh, I'm still deciding sort of what we will talk about. So we'll see what, what comes up. And, uh, but looking forward to Friday. So remember, Tuesdays at 8 a.m., Fridays at 3 p.m. South African time. And uh, we'll be here live. And uh, let's get let's get into into today's show. So um, you also see that uh, when when it's just me on the show, uh, I'm going to try and keep it to about half an hour in total. Sometimes it goes to 35 minutes or so, just depends. Uh, but I don't want to go for the full hour. So uh, with the guests, we'll always go for a full hour to extract maximum value from that. Uh, so this so that you know what to sort of expect in terms of time and how much time that you need to block. Uh, for these things and uh, for those of you that's put this in your diary thank you so so much i deeply appreciate it it means the world to me and i know i mean it's always like when something comes up it will be a choice between am i going to watch the show or not but at least you are reminded of the show uh, and uh, when you can watch i really really appreciate it so thank you very very much all right so yeah let's uh, let me just shift some things around here so that uh, we can get we can get into into this uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I think we're on 528 now. We've grown a little bit since the last show, uh, but it's very, very slow at the moment. So uh, we'd really, really love some some love from, from you. If you're not subscribed yet, uh, please please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. It'll really be awesome uh, to help us get to that 1,000 subscribers. We are more than halfway there, which is amazing, and, and I'm really happy about that. Um, then also maybe just one last announcement is that uh, you may have seen on my WhatsApp status and so forth that uh, we are busy with rebranding the, uh, the business. And, and also that is sort of what, what triggered this. Although, again, personal branding, business branding, branding in general has been on the list now for quite some time. And I thought now that I've really gone through this uh, and I can look back from when I started to what we're busy with now and where we're going, 
you know, that uh, maybe it's time to share some of the, the thoughts and ideas with you and sort of see maybe where you are and, and what that would, uh, would, would, how that can help you. I mean, that's all that this, this whole show is, is about, is, is really about giving you some ideas and tips and, and tools and, and, and that and expose you to, to guests that can really just help you think uh, at a new level or just think about something new that you can do or maybe just tweak a little bit of what you're doing and then suddenly it makes a huge difference. So that is what, it's, what this is all about. Uh, so, so let's get into into this. So, yeah, the first thing is what is what is branding. Uh, I think there are so many, and and I I I did go <laughs> and uh, and and research this a little bit. And if you look at the definitions that are out there for branding, it's like it doesn't make sense to me at all, to be honest. Um, so for me, it's just I thought let me just think about what do I think about when I think about branding. What does branding mean to me? Um, you know, uh, what is it? What is it all about? Not not what the the theory and the academics and all of that says that it is, because sometimes you know you can talk a lot, and I think that's also sometimes the the point of marketing. A lot of people see branding as your marketing and advertising, uh, and although that's it's part of branding, but it's it's part of building your brand. It is not branding in itself, uh, according to 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 me. So the one thing that I can tell you that I've learned. I think one of the first things that we think about when we think about branding is a logo. It is the place where we start. Uh, when you started your practice or your business, you probably first started with a logo, and that is your brand. And I think the reason for that is that this whole branding concept comes from, uh, you know, sort of branding cattle with a, with a hot iron rod with, with some form of a logo on it or some, call it a logo, or some form of a shape to identify that particular animal as being part of a specific group uh, or belonging to a specific farmer uh, or a specific person. So that is really what I think where the whole logo thing comes from and why people were focusing on on that logo. Uh, but this is branding is so much more than that. And uh, so so in, in this section I'm just going to talk about branding in general and then I'm going to get into personal and business branding and then lastly you know which one should you actually be focusing on for your business. Um, for me, branding is, is is really what makes you identifiable, you know, amongst the whole crowd of other people and, and other businesses. But also, it's not being able to identify you. It's also for me about recognition. So you are you are being recognized instantaneously. You think about a Coca-Cola red. There is only one red. When you see that red, you immediately think about Coca-Cola. You see a particular yellow, you will still think about Kodak, <laughs> you know. Um, and, 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 and these colors are very, very prominent. So um, although it's not just about the colors, it's about like you are so easily, I, I always joke, you can see when somebody is an old mutual financial advisor and you can see when somebody is a Sunlum financial advisor. And I say that with the utmost respect. But it is like you can identify these people uh, easily, um, you know, because they, they tend to, to sort of look a certain way or they tend to act in a certain way or they tend to talk in a certain way. And that is what branding is really about. It's about almost everything in that sphere is working together. It sort of happens in the same fashion. And that is what makes it so recognizable. Now, sometimes, obviously, you can have something that is so unique that it just stands out on its own. Um, I mean, you think about somebody who has a lot of tattoos, for example. I mean, they will stand out in a crowd of people who do not have tattoos. It is as simple as that. So it's the same thing here. If you are so unique, you are something completely new, you are something completely out of the ordinary, that will also make you stand out. Uh, so there are many different ways of, of, of going about this. Uh, so branding, it's, it's yes, it's your logo. It's absolutely your logo, but it's also your colors. It is your, your way of doing things. It is, it is your way of speaking. It is, it is the language you use. Uh, it's the way you dress. Uh, it's the way your staff dress. It's, um, you know, all that kind of stuff is really what branding is about. Uh, and it's about consistency, uh, I think, uh, a lot. And I've spoken about consistency so many times on the show previously that uh, I, I fully believe that that is, that is one of the most powerful things is consistency. Um, brand is also, and it has become so much more, as I said, than your colors and your logo and your letterhead and your business card. It has really become about your story. Uh, it, it's it's about the story of the business. I think about Apple, and you're gonna you, you may laugh at me, and it's fine if I can make you laugh on a Tuesday morning. That is amazing. Uh, but last year in September, when they had the annual sort of release of new products or announcement of new products, and they were talking about different things, 
Uh, and they were showing not only like, you know, the material they use that they make the phones from that makes them, you know, a, a lot of that, a big percentage of that is recyclable, etc. But apart from that, they were telling stories or sharing stories rather directly from their clients of how the Apple Watch saved their life. Um, how the how these devices are impacting their and it's not your normal story. Oh, I've become thirty percent more efficient and more effective, and it's not that those kind of stories. It is like life saving stories, you know. And you listen to to what they stand for, and you listen to what is important to them. I mean, I I sat there with tears in my eyes, like like for most of that presentation. Um, just because, you know, like that's the kind of stuff that, that's the kind of business I want to build. That's the kind of business that I want. It's the kind of business that really impacts people and, and really makes it different and literally saves their lives. I mean, I don't think there's anything better than, than, than that. And they, they are doing it, you know, and, and it's that story. And that is why I'm a big uh, Apple fan. If I could, everything in my life would be Apple. I just can't afford that at the moment, but at least I've got a phone. And that's, that's at least scratching the eats, right? So, so that's the, that, that is sort of um, the thing that I'm talking about. If I say, this is all about your story, uh, or it's about the business's story, it is the narrative, it is the way that we talk, it's the way that we explain, it's the way that we position, uh, it is what we stand for. That is what branding really is about these days. You know, back in the old days, I think when, when we didn't have social media and all this connectedness around us, you know, the logo was the thing. But it has definitely moved on from there uh, and, and it's now become about so much more. Uh, and, and, and specifically as people become aware of certain issues, we've recently watched a show on Netflix called Down to Earth. And I really encourage you to go and have a look at it. It's eight episodes. Uh, Zac Efron uh, is one of the hosts. And uh, they are traveling the world looking at sustainability and how, they, how people are generating energy and, and recycling waste and, and, and the kind of foods and, and the water we drink. And they're just doing all these things in all these amazing places with a very powerful story behind it. And uh, I think, you know, those are the kind of things that we can't ignore anymore. So those businesses who are not genuinely, and I'll, I'll get to that in a second, but not genuinely taking these things seriously they may have a problem, you know, somewhere in the future. But yeah, but, but that's what brand is. It is really the whole being. It is, it is what this business is. It is what you think about when you think about this, this business. I think that is, that is sort of what branding is. And if you really have a strong brand, it means that it's going to talk to people. It will connect with people. Uh, and it will definitely uh, make a difference. And they will resonate with it. And they want to be part of that. And that is when you really have a strong, a strong brand as far as that is uh, concerned. Alrighty, so uh, personal branding. Let's talk a little bit about personal branding. Um, so if that is sort of branding in general, uh, obviously that, those are things that will apply to, to personal and business branding. Uh, but we will have to see, um, you know, what, what, others, what other things are there that we must consider in terms of personal branding uh, that will make that so unique. And, and, and whether, you know, at the end I'll, I'll answer the question, should you even be considering doing personal branding at all? Uh, but I'll ask the same question. Should you even be building a business brand at all? Or what should the approach be? So yeah, when we talk about personal branding, uh, that is squarely focused on, on me and you, uh, the individual. It is squarely, it's, it's all about the person. This has got nothing to do with a business. It's got nothing to do with someone else. It's got to do with you. And the whole purpose of personal branding is really to position yourself as an authority or a thought leader uh, or the go-to person in your industry. So it's really about setting yourself apart from the rest of the players in the field that you are in. And that is what personal branding is about. It is not about the person that can make the most noise. It is not, not the, the person that can be the most entertaining. It is not the person uh, that, that, that can just, you know, cause a havoc or always have an, a, an opposite view. It's not the person that causes the most controversy. And there are a lot of people that do choose one of those avenues to stand out but the question is is that really really building your personal brand is that really the type of thing that you want to be known for because that's what personal branding is it is making sure what is it that you want to be known for and then making sure that you are known for that in your industry or amongst your your target client or wherever it is that you want to stand out as that person uh, as far as that is concerned this is also very much and you would have seen me on this show sometimes share some of my personal journey and my personal story with you. 
Um, and, and it is one of those things where like, we love to tell our story, and I think we should definitely be telling our story. And that is part of personal branding. It's really bringing out your personal story. What have gotten you here? So one of the things I'm planning for August is to say I'm only going to have female guests on here, and I've already got a, a, a list of a few that I, that, that I want to get on the show that has got very, very powerful stories. And, uh, you know, if you leverage those stories, and every single person has got a story, maybe you're sitting there and saying, Francois, but I don't have a story. Like, nothing exciting has ever happened to me. Uh, I've never been part of anything exciting. Really go look. Go back to your school days. You know, somewhere there's a story. Somewhere there is something that has had a profound impact on you. The problem is, or, or the challenge is, that sometimes we think that that is not significant. We think that it's not going to make a difference to other people. But you start telling your story. There are so many other people that have had something similar to that. And that is really where the connection is going to be. It's that, that starting point. You know, yes, you may, you may not know one another. Uh, you, may not, you may not share many things. But because you share that one almost same kind of experience or something that happened to you, that may very well be the catalyst for somebody to connect with you and for new relationships to start forming. And, that, and those relationships can open up doors, and, and so and so and so on it goes. So sharing your personal story and your personal journey is a very big part of personal branding. Because remember, personal branding is all about you and it's all about me if I'm doing my own personal branding. So that is, that is important. The one thing that I must definitely highlight and I must definitely sort of uh, share with you and, and say personal branding is not a fake it till you make it strategy. It is not. I'm going to say that again. Personal branding is not a fake it till you make it strategy. Uh, it is something that will come back and bite you in a place that you don't want to be bitten. So all you need to do with this whole personal branding thing is tell your story and share your journey as you grow and as you go. Because that's the problem. Everybody wants to wait until they get to that now I'm authority. Now I can start to go out in public. Now I can start to share my story. Now I, can, I must first achieve this. Do you know how much value there is in sharing your story while you are on the journey? It's, it's, so, it's so much more awesome to know that somebody else is also just trying to figure it out and they, are, they have the courage to do things and they have the courage to try things. And that'll give me courage to go out and do the things that I've been putting off for a long time. Maybe sometimes we just need to inspire through our stories. That is also part of building your brand. And eventually you will get to the point. I mean, if you look at like Douglas Kruger, he's written a whole book on uh, positioning yourself as an, as an expert in your industry. Uh, it's called Own Your Industry. We spoke about some of it in the show when, when he was on. You know, that is, if, if, if you, I think almost if you want like a manual for building your personal brand, get that book, Own Your Industry by Douglas Kruger. It's got 50 steps in it, 50 things that you can do to build your brand. And, uh, you know, you just start doing those things. That is the most important things. Um, so, so just stay away from trying to portray something that you're not at the moment. Uh, don't, don't say that you've got skills when you haven't got them already. Rather share and tell the story as you learn these skills uh, because that is just as powerful and it will build your brand in a credible way. So very important to do it like that. Um, I think also what will happen if you really build a strong personal brand is that clients and peers and colleagues and the media will connect with you because they are drawn to you. Uh, some others won't be. Uh, I don't want to use the word repelled. I don't know what the correct word is. But, uh, you know, like if you look at a magnet, sometimes if the magnets are, 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 are not the right way around, they won't attract one another. They actually push each other away. And it's the same thing with uh, personal branding. The people that like you will connect with you and the people that don't resonate with you and they don't like you that much, they're going to go their own way and they're going to go connect with other people. And that's fantastic because we can only connect with so many people. We can only work with so many people. And, and, and that's definitely important. So a lot of people are not putting themselves out there because they're afraid to build their personal brands. They're afraid to put themselves on social media or to be on radio or to, to write an article for a publication or for a website. Simply because, like, what if somebody doesn't like it? What if somebody doesn't agree with what it is that I'm, what I'm saying? And then we never, we never do this. And and for me, I would just like I've learned over the years, you know. And sometimes it is nerve wracking if you've got some controversial view or you've got something that you want to say. 
you know, sometimes uh, you use a word that people understand differently from the way that you meant it, you know, and that can become a thing. But it's all part of the journey. It's all part of learning. And you shouldn't be afraid to put yourself out there. In fact, you have to put yourself out there. So that is sort of the things about personal, personal branding. Um, let me see quickly. Uh, some of the uh, good morning, Patty. Uh, and I'll mean good morning. Um, uh, Carol says everyone has a personal brand. It's how you manage it that differentiates one from the other. Yeah, and there's a fine line between like managing it and also still being, uh, you know, just the true you, uh, being authentic. Then, if you if you will, uh, because I think some people will will portray something in the public eye that they are not in private. I don't believe in that. I think you should be the same. You know, if you're this nice guy in public, you should definitely be this nice guy at home as well. Um, so it's not like being one something in public and something else when, you, when you're in private. So that's very important to me. Uh, Quibus, I strongly believe in your personal brand as priority one. And once established, you can have sub-brands. Your brand must save you when your sub-brands let you down. Make your brand your face. Yes, uh, I saw your post the other day, Quibus, about the people not using video on, on video calls or on, on Zoom calls or microsoft teams or whatever and i must say i fully agree with you as far as that is concerned uh, a lot of the communications comes through our facial expression so just apart from that and people getting to know your face is extremely important and we've, we've got all the tools in the world to be able to do that morning ross welcome uh peter stradom uh, everybody's saying good morning um yes so govendra says be authentic and be yourself it is it's so critically uh, important for me Righty, so let's continue. So let's talk a little bit about business branding. I just want to say that I am going to go into more detail on each one of these. I'm going to have a show or an episode just on personal branding and just on business branding as well, because there's so many various aspects uh, that we can talk about around these things. About like where do you start? What is the process? How do you you know how do you actually start doing building? Or how do you actually start building this brand? And uh, so so there's not enough time this morning uh, for this. So for me, it's more about. Just what is it today, and then how do you choose which one, which one you 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 do? All right, so let's talk about business branding, uh, where where personal branding is focused on you as the person, as the individual, as the human being. The business branding is focused on an entity. It is something separate from the person building the business. So it is it is it's got its own persona, it's got its own identity, it's got its its own face, if you will. Uh, which is not human. It is. It is just a brand. It is just a name that you have come up with and say, "Well, this is now called I don't know, the Radio Shack." Uh, when somebody started that back in, in in the USA, they called it that. It's got nothing to do. The guy that started it, his surname is not Radio Shack. His name is not Radio, and his surname is not Shack. So it's a it's that separate name. It's a separate identity, and and the, sort of the thing about that is that you can make that whatever you want. So there is, not, there is no like, is this really me or is this not really me? That business brand, you can make whatever you want that to be. And it's completely separate from you as the, as the individual, um, uh, as far as that is concerned. Business branding, uh, also, I think if you really look at it, and I sort of alluded to this a little bit earlier when we were speaking about just general branding in, or branding in general, is that, it's really about what is, the, what is this business that you are thinking about doing business with or this business that you are running, what is this business promising to its clients? What is it promising to society? What is it promising to the country and to the world at large? What is, what is the promise? What is it that it is trying to deliver on? What is it going to do uh, you know, for, for their clients? Uh, and that is really what, what business branding is about. It is about that promise because people want to yes they want to get into why you're doing it okay but also they want to know like what 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 are you saying what, what are you saying you're going to do for us what, what, how is my life going to change you know and this isn't about marketing a product selling a product advertising a product that's part of it getting that message across and explaining and positioning all of this but there is an overall promise that one needs to consider uh, as far as that is concerned also, if you think about this, again, if I hear the words Apple, if I hear uh, SAB, if I hear Liberty, if I hear Momentum, if I hear Discovery, there's a certain uh, sort of feeling that you get. There's, there's, there's um, something that you think of when you hear those names. There is some connotation that you have, and it's either a good or a bad one or an indifferent one. 
Um, but there's a certain feeling that is usually evoked when you hear a particular name. Yesterday, I was very, very fortunate again to do a session for, for Liberty specifically. Uh, that it, Liberty is my alma mater. It's where I grew up, basically. It's where I learned, uh, you know, a lot of stuff. And uh, I, had a, I had the privilege of working with a couple of other companies or in a couple of other companies as well. But that was the one where I spent the most time. So I naturally have uh, a loving feeling towards this company. It doesn't matter sort of what the situation is. And, um, and, 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 and that for me is sort of the brand because I worked there, I lived, I lived it, I experienced it, I saw what was, what, you know, how things are being done. And it resonated with me. And it is part of, it aligns quite a lot with the, with the values that I've got. You know, so that's a very, very strong brand from my perspective. You may feel very different about Liberty because maybe you've had quite a different experience. But at the end of the day, it all comes back to like, what is that promise that Liberty is making? And are they fulfilling that promise? That's really the only question that people are asking. Um, and uh, it's the same with any other business that you, that you may think of. Um, also, you know, it's about if you look at business uh, branding, uh, there's a few things. And there's one thing that I want to say. I said it yesterday in the session, actually. Uh, to the people there. And I said, you know what, whether you like it or not, whether you're doing it intentionally or you're doing it unintentionally or you, you're just not focused, you're not even aware of it, you are building a brand. You are building a brand. You as the person or a business is building a brand. So do you rather want to be intentional and focused uh, about you know, what you do and how you do it uh, than just leave it to chance and let other people tell you who you are, what you stand for and how they perceive you? Or do you try and make sure that you position yourself that they do see and perceive you in the correct light or in the, in the light that you at least wanted to? Uh, so one of the things that could be, I mean, you know these places. I mean, if you hear about a Chinese shop, what do you think about? Just think about this. All these new Chinese shops here in South Africa. When you, when you go to that deals shop or Value Mart or I don't even know what these places are called, what do you think when you go there? Why are you going there? Because they're cheap. Because they're cheap and you don't care about the quality. They're cheap. Like as long as I, I just need this for one project or I just need this for something and I'm not, I, I'm not willing to spend on this. So I go to the Chinese shop and get the most cheapest thing. I know it's going to be bad quality. I know it's not going to last. But hell, it's cheap. So that's, that's a brand that they've built. Uh, on the other hand, you may have you know, something completely different. If you think about a Mercedes or a BMW, what do you think about? You know, It's like it's definitely going to cost me a lot of money. But... It's high quality. It's luxurious. That's what they've built. And there are so many different cars. And why are there so many different cars and brands out there? I mean, if you think about Hyundai and Kia, you don't think about them, in the, even though their cars has, has, has uh, been improved quite considerably, you don't think about them in the same group as BMW and, and, and Mercedes, for example. You know, just as you, you won't think about Mercedes and BMW when you start thinking about Ferrari and Lamborghini and those, they've also got their own separate brand. So it's about how do you position yourself? So are you this high cost, high quality, um, high value kind of proposition, you know, or are you, are you this, this like cheap, uh, you know, just, just once off use, that kind of uh, sort of thing, you know, or are you positioned as a, as a low cost, maybe high value uh, kind of business? You know, so, so those brands start, I mean, they tell their own story. They form by themselves, and you, and you would want to, 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 to manage that. So you really got to think about that from a business's perspective uh, because once people start saying things about you, you know, to control that is very, very hard. And that's particularly where I think social media has become a thorn in the side of many businesses. For, but, uh, you know, back in the day, there was a logo and a business card, and very few people knew about you. Now, if you do something wrong, you know, within a day, the whole world knows about it. So that's very, very important from, from, from that point of view. But it is, how do you position yourself? And, and there's this logical side to, to, to all of this, so price and value and quality and, and, and all of that. But then with brands, as I mentioned earlier with Apple, there's this emotional side as well. There's an emotional connection that one wants with a brand. You want to believe in them. You know, when you, when you put on, uh, you know, clothes that's got a particular logo on them, you know, there's something, yes, it does make you feel a certain way, but it is because you resonate maybe with the way, the things that they stand for, that they don't use child labor to produce these things. There is, you know, they, the people that they use gets paid well. Maybe you only want to wear clothes that are made in South Africa. 
whatever your reason is, there is an emotional connection and an emotional reason for why you align yourself with a particular brand. And when we're building our businesses, we also need to think uh, along those lines. Like, who is our ideal client? What do they want? What do they, how do they want to, uh, you know, we, we, what type of brand do they want to be perceived with? Because that's the beauty about a business brand is that you can create exactly that brand. You know, if it's on the personal side, you've got to be saying like, this is who I am. This is what I stand for. And this is what I like or not. And then you need to try and attract those kind of people. But a business brand, you can actually go and create to talk directly to those. So it's a little bit of a difference there. Uh, in, in, in my opinion, but uh, definitely something that we, that we must consider. Alrighty, so then the big question is, which one should I focus on or which one should you focus on? Well, <laughs> it's one of those things, you know, um, <laughs> at one stage I, I saw a, a saying saying that, I can't remember who said it, but, uh, you know, when faced with a choice, take both. So, uh, but it depends. It, I think it depends largely on the type of industry and business that we are in. Uh, financial services are one of those businesses that you you can do both or you can do either one uh, because it depends on how you want to build your business. That is what you need to be thinking about. So are you building a business that will have you know, that, that will be sellable? Uh, I think that's a very important consideration. Is this something you want to sell in future? Um, and then do I want to build this as as a bigger business that has got multiple advisors working in this business, for example, because there I would not attach my personal name to that. I would definitely go with a business brand uh, as far as that is concerned. Um, and then also, but if I just want my own, my own practice, I just want to focus on my own clients. And yes, I've got a buy and sell agreement with someone else that will take over my client base when something happens to me, then just focus on a business, on, 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 on a personal brand. You know, uh, if you think about the, the sort of the companies in South Africa, and there's a very fine line to really say, well, you know, because is somebody there because they're an authority or are they there because they're in a certain position in a, in a business? But you think about a discovery, for example, you can't think about discovery without thinking of Adrian Gore. And Adrian Gore, in his own right, is an authority in what it is that he, that, 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 that he does. So he's got a very strong personal brand, okay? But he, he built this personal brand alongside uh, the, the, the discovery brand. Um, there are other people that have first built like very powerful personal brands. You think about something like Gary Vaynerchuk again. So Gary has built a very strong personal brand. He's, he first, he tasted wine. So that's what he did. He was a wine taster. He's, he says on his, on his blog that he sipped wine and then he spit it out into a bucket. That's how he started. You know, it was this 22 year old kid that built this wine business with his dad. Uh, and that is how he started. But he built this this, this, this brand around, like, who is Gary V? He calls himself Gary V. So who's Gary, the person? And what does he stand for? What does he believe? And off the back of that, he's built multiple other businesses. He's become an investor in many things. So the personal brand can be extremely, extremely strong. And what also comes with the personal brand is that you have flexibility. So like, like he started off in the wine business. He then transitioned into the agency space where they're doing – where they are doing, uh, you know, social media marketing and, and strategy and, and, and a whole host of other things. And I mean, they've opened up things like Vayner Sports and Vayner Gaming and Vayner Talent. And there's, there's all these different businesses where they manage different people for, for, for different things. Uh, but all of that off the back of that. But also, very interesting is that not everybody that becomes their clients knew even who he was, you know. So although it's been there, the business has also stood on its, on its own feet. So it's definitely possible to do that. Um, and sometimes, you know, things, I think a personal brand, I think it's crucial to build a personal brand because you build relationships and you, 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 you build credibility and you build trust. So when you do start pivoting to other things, people will follow you there. And that's great. Um, it's not always just, oh, so now I've positioned myself as the best financial planner ever to be born south of the North Pole. And now like, but now I want to start selling beds. I'm not, I don't want to do financial planning anymore. You know, it's not about like, you've got to stick with this one thing uh, because that's what you've done. Personal branding is about people getting to know you intimately. It's about trusting you intimately. It's about, it's about finding what you say credible. It is right, believing and to see that you always stick. If you say, well, it's much more about your values and your principles and those kind of things and sticking to those, that is more important, your consistency. That is what people then buy into. And then the rest sort of, you know, can, can flow from them. Um, 
the other question is uh, I've got a I've got a couple of people saying to me, <clears throat> you know, friends and people that I know uh, that you know I'm not comfortable being in the media. I'm not comfortable being on putting myself out there. It's scary, <clears throat> and it's definitely so. So you've got to decide. It's not like because personal branding is maybe a great strategy that now you must go and do it. No, it's not about that. It is simply about like, is this for you? It's like anything else. You may love rugby, but playing rugby is maybe not for you. You know, so then don't go play rugby or don't play golf or don't whatever it is. You know, you must decide, is this for you? Uh, and then what is for you? If it's, if it's easier for you to build a business of which you are a part of and it's always the business brand, you know, um, then, then do that. There's nothing wrong with that. So again, it is just what is more appropriate for your personality, for, your, for, for how you feel, because it doesn't help you every time you need to go on camera, you, go, you get this anxiety attack. You know, that's not helping at all. It's helping nobody. So make a decision which, one, which, which route do you want to take. Um, and then also I think when, uh, you know, are you the business or is the business its own thing? Uh, that is another question that you should, should answer. If the business is its own thing, are we definitely building a business brand? Uh, and in fact, let me, let, me, let me share with you sort of, so, so I've started my rebranding process uh, and, and we, we've, we've come a long way. On, on Sunday, we, we sort of agreed on the final things. And uh, so we'll be revealing that, that shortly. But, you know, what I'm doing, I can tell you now already, is splitting my business from me. Because at the moment, the two are so intertwined. And that's one of the things that you need to look out for is that if you focus, you know, too much on the one thing, it could lead into people not knowing exactly where you fit in. It doesn't know when do they pay, when is it for free. Um, you know, there's this confusion about what, what you talk about, all these things. What do you actually do? And by then, you know, if that is one of the, the, the sort of challenges that, that we come up with, and maybe that's not a challenge for you because you just talk about financial advice and financial planning and just, you know, living life. Uh, but in my space where I talk about technology and we talk about training and we consult and we do we talk about practice management and all this kind of stuff, you know, people can like, but what do you I have no idea what you do. Uh, and that's why we've decided like we need to definitely split the two personas. So we so the business is, is being rebranded. I'm removing my name from the business completely. Um, so that's going to be a brand on its own. And then I will continue with my personal stuff, like with the show and the podcast and so forth, uh, as far as that is concerned. So yeah, but, but that's, that, that is uh, the sort of the things that I considered uh, during the process and some of the things that I've learned over the last couple of years, uh, you know, and I'll be keen to hear from you to, to, to hear, you know, how do you approach these things and, and, and what are the things that you're focusing on and what are you maybe challenged by in terms of, of your branding? Are you, where are you unclear? You know, I haven't even spoken about like, but we've touched on all these things like throughout all the episodes about all the different things that we can do to build and position our brand. Uh, so I don't want to get into that. It was more the concept around this. Uh, Razan says, this always reminds me of the cornerstone of personal branding. Nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. Yes, absolutely. Um, and that is really, it is the, like, are you the kind of person I want to hang out with? I mean, that's it. And then do you really know your stuff? Do you know what you're talking about? You know, or, or I want to follow you on your journey because the moment I followed you on your journey, I feel part of your journey. And that's the most, one of the most beautiful things uh, to have. So, yeah, so that is it for this morning. Thank you very much. Uh, I deeply appreciate your time. I hope you got some value from this and that you'll share this with everybody. Please send the link around uh, for people to watch. Uh, I really don't mind. You're more than welcome to do that. Have a fantastic week further, and I'll see you back on Friday afternoon at uh, 3 p.m., and uh, I will let you know what we'll be talking about. So thank you very much. Have a good one. Stay safe.